coach, led Lenore Ryan to the Division II tournament, led UNBC to the historic upset of Virginia, led Utah State to the NCAA tournament, proven head coach. Long three on the way, that's no good by Maximus Edwards and DCU running the other way with Zeb Jackson. Hands it behind for Kwani Kwani, who drains a three. That's amazing to me. Kwani started the season zero, all for 16 on threes. One and two early misses for Buchanan against the one-on-one -on -one defense of VCU. Another quick three, that one's good, and it's knocked down by Max Shulga. Their best three-point shooter, a great look. Bishop back up top, Garrett Johnson for three. That's big. You know you got to get off to a good start in this building, Coach. And, and, and Johnson, you know, one of these redshirt freshmen, 6'8", shoots over 40 on threes. Bloody Shulga and Jackson have all hit threes. And an interception here by Bearstow. Quickly up to Jackson again. Crosses over, takes it in now. Offensive rebound, Furman. It's out to Shulga, and he thought about the three, and it takes it in for two. Love pure big guys. We got some really good big guys in this game. This is his fifth game as they were kind of waiting to see if he was going to be eligible. That all kind of worked out, and they could really use those guys, and it's been huge to have them back. And they're both in the game right now, and these aren't just players, they're high level players. And there is the most athletic player. Maybe I'm not overhyping this on the planet. Down his fourth school at VCU. So he's familiar, but the only player on GW that he played with was Bishop. Yeah, that's pretty crazy how he's able, able to do that. Here's a step back. Three by Autry. It's good. That's Trey Autry, true freshman out of Jamesville, New York, and he knocks it down. In and out by Bearstow on the three, and here comes Autry. Now Garrett Johnson. Back for Edwards for three. It's good. And GW has the lead. 27 to 26. There's a saying that the most comfortable team wins. GW is getting very comfortable and confident right now. And Buchanan smelling the steal. Buchanan takes it in. Count the basket. And a three-point play opportunity coming up for GW. As we come up on three and a half to go in this first half. The Rams led this game 21-12 to 12 with 10.41 to go. And GW's been on a 19-8 run and make it a 21-8 run as Edwards throws it down. So controlling, 10 now to shoot. Bearstow and Bamasil lost it for the moment, takes it in, gets the two. Been hosting St. Bonaventure, who just stayed in town after beating VCU the other night. They're down by four. Richmond's up 35-31 to Duquesne, leads Loyola Chicago on the road 40-36. At the half, as Edwards adds to his total, he's got 15, and the Revolutionaries are back in front. And it for Bishop, back to Buchanan, had the right idea, but he throws it away now. Let him a little bit too much. Bama seal. Billups for three in the lead. Count it. Yeah, holding VCU to 37% in the second half. And 39% for the year. This is a yeah. well-coached team on both ends. Bishop again and redirected his thoughts in midair. You don't want to do that. Billups to the top. Turnovers again. It's played both teams throughout this year. That's still a one possession game, and this is regular territory for GW in their first two A10 games. Back to Bishop. He's had the hot hand with the 21 points, and now for three. Oh, he trades it. Bishop taking some contact, kicks it to the corner. Buchanan passes up the three, takes it in for the two, and he got it. Seconds to go. Jackson. They're thinking about it. Barely any difference between shot clock and game clock. Jackson for three. It's no good. Offensive rebound. Bamasio. Put back. Yes. Tie game at 82. Bishop crosses over. Trying to take it in. On Jackson. Excellent D. The shot is up. It's good. He hits it with one second to go. James Bishop. And GW leads by two. A long athletic person to get a clean pass against, but this pass is going long. Bear Stowe is going to put it in for VCU, running the baseline, 1.5, throws it in. It's caught by Shulga, and it's for the win. It's no good. Short, they had a chance, 
and a good look. But George Washington beats VCU on the road here in the Siegel Center in Richmond, 84 to 82.